Samsung Galaxy S4 release dates rumored for the United States. The iPhone 5S motherboard leaks with an Apple A7 chip. And more leaks compare the Lumia 920 with the Lumia 928. I'm Jaime Rivera, completely devastated and praying for all those affected in the Boston Marathon tragedy today. This is Pocket Now Daily. Continuing on with last week's rumors of Pantech bringing a no bezel display on a future device being dubbed the Vega as their future smartphone, well, we've got some leaked images of the device and even though the design is quite interesting, it does have a bezel. Sadly, apparently companies have not figured that out, but we know that this will most likely reach AT&T as this is their current carrier partner. And even though previous devices in the past from Pantech haven't been all that hot, well, this design is actually quite nice. Let's see what they bring. Now let's talk about the Galaxy S4. We know a lot of you are still trying to decide if you get the HTC One or the Galaxy S4, and new rumors now have the device being released on AT&T on April 26th, on Verizon on April 30th, and then we've got it on T-Mobile on May 1st. We don't have a specific date for Sprint just yet, but just stay tuned, keep your wallets ready, because we will definitely have all the review coverage that you need to help yourself decide which is your next phone. Now let's talk about some leaked photos of the motherboard of the iPhone 5S. Notice we don't call it the iPhone 6 anymore because we know how Apple rolls with their iOS devices. So far it sports an A7 chip according to the leaks and according to the serial numbers. Apparently this is their first quad-core smartphone or first quad-core processor to come to the market and it also does sport 2 gigabytes of RAM so it pretty much doubles on everything that's on the current Apple lineup at least according to iOS so stay tuned for the rumors. Now let's talk about the Nokia Lumia 928 rumors. Obviously, this is no longer the catwalk. This is the device coming to Verizon. And well, it was compared to the Lumia 920 recently. It is actually a little bit taller than the Lumia 920. But also aside from that, it does not sport the LCD display that the Lumia 920 had, which was actually quite good. It's now sporting an AMOLED display, which is kind of an interesting shift. We still don't have any dates for this device. We don't even have a release for the phone on Verizon, but stay tuned, it'll most likely happen very soon. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, we've got some new leaks about the Nokia EOS project. You know, that concept of bringing the camera from the 808 PureView, that 41 megapixel sensor, to happen on Windows Phone Lumia devices in the future. Apparently, Nokia is already testing their first quad-core processor to work on this device, which is interesting, but apparently they're still on the ropes be uh, making it quad-core or sticking to dual-core, as it is obviously more power efficient. But anyways, that leads me to the question of the day. Would a 41 megapixel camera make you want to switch to Windows Phone or stay at Windows Phone if you're currently disappointed for some reason? In my particular case, honestly, Windows Phone still has a lot of things to fix for me to actually want to stay within Windows Phone, but leave us a comment down below. Is that 41 megapixel sensor something you would like to see on your future smartphone next year? Of course, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. And our thoughts and prayers again go for all the families of those affected in Boston. This is a real tragedy, a really sad day for the United States and for all of us fellow runners out there.